And we're always so grateful that, you know, we can be here uh, to help you to uh, on your journey, whether in business or in life and how you truly can be successful. So 80% is showing up and we're grateful for that. So today's show, um, I know it's been a while, we have taken a break, but today I'm going to be leading the conversation and today I'm going to be talking about uh, to do with your mind again. So I just want to keep on rehashing as to how your mind is to set the context. So today I'm going to be talking about why your mind, so I'm going to be talking about why your mind is very important to what we want and how you truly can benefit more from that. So without further ado, before I do go into the conversation, I want to welcome you all. So welcome, today is Wednesday. And thank you so much for being with us. We truly appreciate you. So my name is Alka. My name is Ria. And welcome Al to our, our show. Oh. So today I'm going to be talking, I'm going to be talking from chapter four, from the chapter four called The Secret Genie. And I'm just going to share my screen so that I'm going to illustrate as to what I'm going to be talking about. My pen, there you go. So I'm going to be talking about the secret genie and what that, okay. Oh, okay. So I'm going to talk about the secret genie and how the secret genie really, um, how that came into play because I mean I love since I started uh so just to set the context as to what what I want to talk about so before I got started in this journey of your mind and you know in the self-development space the secret genie really was was that um you know especially when we talk about the uh, the stick figure, as I've illustrated to you, and I'm just going to, oh, I don't want that. That is <laughs> way too thick, sorry. Um, okay, so what, oh, doesn't erase, okay, perfect. Okay, so the secret genie, when I began to learn about this, and as I'm going to illustrate again, so here we have the secret uh, the, the stick figure, right? And the stick figure really came about in 1940, uh, sorry, um, 1940s there, uh, but that's your subconscious mind and your conscious mind. And this is your body, right? So what the stick figure illustrate, and this is done in 1940 by a Viennese psychiatrist. And what he what he said, and these are your results. So when we talk about our body and our mind operates on a three planes, and what are these three planes? These three planes are your are your spiritual. emotional and your physical so you might be asking okay well what does what does this what do what do what do these three planes have anything have anything to do with your mind the secret genie and why it's called the secret genie? Because the secret genie is, in this chapter, is to do with your environment. Is to do with everything that, like your environment is nothing but your looking glass and your perception. So why do these three planes, your spiritual, emotional, and physical, have everything to do with your conscious and your subconscious mind? Because, I mean, let me, sh I can share this with you again. So your conscious mind 
equals your intellectual. This is the intellectual part of your mind. It is your, your thoughts, right? And this is the educated part. But what is important is your subconscious mind, because this is where the feelings, this is where you're feeling. And you have to be, and I've il illustrated this to you before, but I will share it again, because it's our feelings, it's our feelings that determine, and we need to be in that vibration, as I was illustrating. So say for example, say for example, you, I'm going to illustrate with the, with the stick figure, just so that you can see it better. So say this was, this part of your mind was the, actually, you know what, let me just do this with this card, perfect. And so I don't want that, but I want this. Okay, so let me just, okay, so let me just draw that again. So say for example, your stick figure And this part of your mind, this part of your mind is your thinking, right? And this part is your feeling. So if you recall, and if you recall that I talked about that how when you think about and this is your, this is your body, right? And this is your result. So if you remember, I talked about that when you are building upon that information, so say, say that, you know, this is where the thinking, this is where you're thinking. And, you know, so whether your thoughts are positive or negative, every single step of the way, every single day, this is really truly impacting. So what you are thinking and what you're thinking is the vibration you put out there, right? It's a vibration we are putting out as to, you know, what, what are we thinking? Because what we think automatically reflects into our body. So you're thinking that's why the secret genie is very powerful in terms of giving you the results because, you know, it comes down to what, what is your thoughts? What's your thoughts? What are you thinking on a, on a conscious level? What are you thinking? So on a conscious level, whatever thoughts you are thinking, that is automatically putting out into the, into the environment. And that is picked up. So you, what we need to be conscious of is not to, uh, you know, so whatever is, what, whatever is going on, whatever is going on in the internal reflects to the external, i.e. into your environment. So that's why your thinking and your feelings, so the subconscious mind always deals with the feeling part of your, your mind, the feeling and the vibration, because when you feel, and you need to be, you need to feel, you need to be a one with your goals. And when you are one with your goals, that's why you have to, you have to feel, you've got to be conscious of when you're feeling that it's going to happen. And that's why it is so powerful. This is secret genie. So your environment is nothing but your looking glass and how you look at things, it's your perception, how, you know, what is our perception? You know, either way you're right, either way you're wrong. But our perception really dictates 
as to what we are and how we are feeling at that moment in time. So that's why I really absolutely love the, the stick figure because this illustration right here really tells us so much more as to what your body is really capable. Your body is and your mind, not just your body because your body is an instrument of your mind. Your body, your body is the instrument of the mind. So meaning, whatever, what, what feelings are implemented inside your body, that automatically reflects to your mind and vice versa, whatever thoughts you have in your mind of the, on the conscious level, you're feeling bad, your emotions, you're feeling bad, you're feeling sad, you're feeling, um, you know, all those emotions, you feel angry, you feel anxious anxiety, all those feelings that are deeply set inside of us is reflected inside your body. So your body is the instrument of your mind and vice versa, they correspond. They talk to each other, right? And so that's why I want to just come on. I, I know I'm not going to talk much from this because there is so much more to talk about but in a gist of what I have covered is your the stick figure which is which is primary which is very important to know that your conscious mind your subconscious mind is your primary and is how we need we need to operate we need to operate from the subconscious because your subconscious is the feeding part of your mind. Your subconscious allows you to be one with your goal, but you need to feel, you already need to see that you are in that vibratory, you are in that higher vibration, in the higher frequency, as I've talked about in previous chapters. We need to, if, say, for example, we are feeling uh, that we're already, um, you know, our goal is, for example, to uh, to say money wise, money is to get a hundred thousand a month. That is our goal when it comes to money, right? But if you are that, and that's great, you set your goals high, and that's good. But if you are not feeling hundred percent inside of you, this is this is the key here. If you are not feeling one hundred percent that you can get to the 100,000. So you're already telling your mind, you're already telling your, your subconscious that, oh, maybe, you know, I don't think I can, or maybe, uh, is it really possible? I don't think so. So the moment you begin to start to saying that, you, you, won't, even, you won't even get there because you're already here and you're aspiring to get here. You've got to go a long way. You've got to be in that vibration together with your goal. So that's what I'm trying to say is that your, your, your body, your mind, your body is the instrument of your mind. And you want, to, you want to always come back. So your feeling part is how are you feeling? How are you feeling that you're not worthy of, if you remember, I talked about the, goal, the, the previous chapter about your worthy ideal. If you feel that you're not worthy, of achieving hundred thousand dollars well then you won't because either way you're right whether you do think you will you're, you're right or whether you feel that you won't you're right and so you won't achieve that hundred thousand if that's your goal so in recap so I talked about the three planes and why the three planes your spiritual emotional physical all correspond together and the secret genie comes about the secret genie is the secret genie is there to give you what you want your secret genie will only correspond to how we feel there is no other way because this is how you get the results 
you get the results by feeling a certain way. You get your results by feeling that you have achieved what you are aspiring to achieve. If it's money, yes, you will. So the secret genie knows that your body will correspond to this the subconscious will correspond to your body because now you're thinking if at the subconscious level as i said this is the important part of your mind and if you're now feeling at the higher vibration and you are now your mind is together with your goal then you will achieve the results so that's why this is very important and i touched on the two the two main parts of the mind is your conscious and your subconscious and how we need to be operating and why what's the difference between the both the conscious and the subconscious and what we need to be feeling and what are we thinking what are we thinking on a constant basis negative or positive every single day whether it's at home well you know with whomever whether it's at work what are we thinking you know uh, do we always say for example do we always complain oh you know the boss gives you a task but you're not able to get the task and oh my god it's so much work oh my god i've now got to do so much you know do we complain are we aware of what we are saying that is what's important here in the secret genie chapter is what are we saying every single day so it's huge. It really is huge. And I, I'm absolutely, I love this because it really enforces what we need to be thinking, how we need to be feeling. And this is how we operate on a daily basis. So as I said, whatever is going on in the internal is reflects on the external, meaning reflects to your outside world, your environment. And this is how, you know, we um, begin to hone into our perceptions, our perceptions, what, what's our perspective on life, what's our perspective on whether it's at work, at our, you know, at the, our job, how do we, what do we perceive our job to, is it frustrating, is it easy, do you, you know, so it's important to think about and being aware, so that's what the secret genie is telling us, to be aware of our emotions, to being aware and what we're thinking, what we are feeling every step of the way, because this truly, um, you know, as I said, is a very, very powerful, powerful is illustration. And I, you know, I want to be sharing more of this because the more that we know and dwell into our mind, the more we're able to, you know, achieve so much. So friends, I just wanted to just share this with you, but I know there's so much more and I will be sharing so much more because when it comes to the mind, our, our mind is a, a complex tool and there is so much that we can learn from. So, you know, we'd love to know in the comments, comments as to what you think where are you right now what how do you process what do you what what are you aware of your thoughts are you aware of your emotions are you aware of what you are feeling or thinking a constant on a constant basis right so that needs to be the first that needs to be the first step you need to be aware awareness of us ourselves awareness of how we are behaving our behaviors so awareness because you know what without awareness and not even being aware like I, i'm gonna i'll give you a classic example um the the other day i was i was talking to someone and not that i i meant to be rude because that's never my intention, but sometimes it's how we come across, and we don't always hear ourselves, and we just like, you know, talking with someone, and then they pointed out to me, which is good, because, you know, you need to get feedbacks from people, so they pointed out to me that, you know, Alka, you talk to us in a certain way, and I did not like it, 
And I said, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't know I my tone or was in a certain way, right? So, but as, as long as someone gives you feedback, you need to learn from, as long as you need to be aware, first of all, that's number one. Second, number two is you've got to take feedbacks and learn from what people are saying to you. Because if you're not learning, that's why I just shared just now is what you're thinking and you're feeling. If they're not congruent, you will behave and your behavior will sometimes you won't even know. So you've got to be, and that's why I said your perception, you've got to be perceptive. What is someone saying to you? Are they right? And you need to learn. So Ria, you want to share me something? For that, Alka, I do have a question. You said the body is the instrument of the mind. Now, there yeah. are where, um, you know, we're all, not always happy. We could be in the low spot, down spot. How yeah. do we ears um, our, our feeling, you know, from a down or low spot to a higher vibration, to a higher feeling? How does one shift gears? That's a good question, right? So if you are, if you are in a low vibration, so say you could be in a low vibration, say you could be sad, okay? That's one emotion. You could be sad. You could be anxious. That's another emotion. So if you are feeling, and I, I take my example because that's the only example I can give is myself. And that's the only example we can give is ourselves. What are we doing? How do we operate? So I give you my example. If I am feeling, if I am feeling low, I could be, I mean, I could be feeling sad, not that I am, but say I'm feeling sad. And I feel that, you know, I'm, I'm it's a, okay, I'll give you a classic example. Sometimes, you know, the weather affects people. So psychologically, and it was raining here in Toronto, but I'm not talking about the weather. I'm not the weather girl, but I'm here to talk to you about how the feelings, how we sort of in our bodies. So we gave that question about, you know, if you're feeling in the low vibration, so if I'm sad, what do I do to pick me up to be in that higher vibration? Number one, I love music. I put on music. I put on music. I put on classical music. I put that on and I put it on loud because when music is my therapy, you can choose what is your therapy. So music is my therapy and I put on classical music. I put on music that's calming and soothing so that I am relaxed. I close my eyes and no one's around me. I don't care. I am in my zone. I put on music and I am feeling soothed. That is my therapy. That is who I go to. I go to music. So you can choose what is your therapy that maybe that's a challenge I'm going to give to you is what is your therapy? What is your go to if you are feeling at a low vibration to pick yourself up? What are you willing to do? What are you doing to be in that higher vibration? Does that answer your question, Ria? Yes, thank you. Okay, let me ask you, what is your go to? Well, if I'm in a low vibration, I try to, number one, pray and yeah. ask the Lord, Lord, thy will be done. Lead me from this, you know, down moment. Number two, I'll think of uh, gratitude. I'll mm -hmm. be great. Things that I have, that I'm still alive, that not all is lost, that I have my friends, family, you know, my husband, my two kids. Um, and third, I think about the solution. So what can I do to get out of this, you know, this, this problem? Yeah, you know what? Gratitude. I always love the, you know, and I love, you know, the attitude of gratitude. What is your attitude? What is your attitude? What is your outlook? And are you grateful for those moments? You know, so our attitude is the most um you know, it, it, it is important to have the right attitude because when you have the right attitude, again, you know, it comes down to being in the, on that plane. 
the three planes, you know, physical, emotional, and your, and your spiritual. So all those three connected together really helps us. So I just love, you know, I love, I love saying, you know, attitude of gratitude, because it is, it's your attitude. And it's how we respond to things. It's how we, uh, you know, our perception. So guys, I hope that this conversation truly resonated with you. If you are at your place, um, in the place right now, you are in a situation that, you know, you are feeling, um, and you are thinking, well, you know, how do I begin to change myself? How do I begin to, to shift? What do I need to do? And so I'm going to share with you that, yes, you can. And we, I've just shared the tools that I use, what I do. And that's really helped me to, um, you know, that's really helped me. So as my challenge to you is, is how do you, what is your therapy? What do you do to pick yourself up when you, when nothing is going right, when you're feeling your emotions are on a low ebb? What do you do to pick yourself up? Okay, so thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sharing with us how you're feeling. And we love to implore our knowledge to you so that you can implement and learn and grow in your business and